Democratic de uh, candidates for president took the stage last night in Atlanta to debate why they're the best choice to run against Donald Trump. The candidates did target one another, like when Mayor Pete Buttigieg criticized uh, Representative Tulsi Gabbard for meeting with Syrian dictator Assad. Remember, these are the only two military vets on the stage. Take a look. One of the foreign leaders you mentioned meeting was Bashar al-Assad. I have, in my experience, such as it is, whether you think it counts or not, since it wasn't accumulated in Washington, enough judgment that I would not have sat down with a murderous dictator like that. Another moment that got a lot of people talking was when Senator Amy Klobuchar talked about the double standard that female candidates face. Take a look. Women are held to a higher standard. Otherwise, we could play a game called Name Your Favorite Woman President, which we can't do because it has all been men, um, including all vice presidents being men. And I think any working woman out there, any woman that's at home, knows exactly what I mean. We have to work harder, and that's a fact. Finally, former VP Joe Biden is being criticized for his choice of words. When talking about ending domestic violence, watch and listen carefully. No man has a right to raise a hand to a woman in anger other than in self-defense, and that rarely ever occurs. And so we have to just change the culture, period, and keep punching at it and punching at it and punching at it. Mm, mm, mm. If you missed it, he was talking about domestic violence and repeated punching with the fist, going at it, which could be, I'm being honest, triggering to some people for real. Uh, not to be too PC about it, but... Man. So, Joe Biden misspeaks again. Yeah, the gaff. Uh, uh, again. I, yeah. And I understand a lot of people in the black community like this guy. And I understand they want him to be the Democratic uh, nominee. But I'm, I'm with Cory Booker. When Cory Booker called him out about uh, not wanting to legalize marijuana, I'll tell you after this, mm -hmm. after you see this video. I have a lot of respect uh, for, for the vice president. He has uh, swore me into my office as a hero. This week I hear him literally say that I don't think we should legalize marijuana. I, 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 I thought you might have been high when you said it. <laughs> and, and let me tell you. It's a great line. And, and great another line. thing that Joe Biden has said, he tried to use the whole, oh, it's the gateway drug. We've kind of, we've dismissed that whole theory. He's having okay boomer type moments. I but Joe Biden is trying to play that moderate role, right? Because he's resting on his laurels of people having his name recognition, like you said. I just think as we move forward, he needs a better strategy because it's not working in these debates. He keeps yeah. messing up and easy moments, you know, just to make yeah. a point. He keeps, yeah. like, stuttering over his words or losing his teeth, whatever have you. Yeah, his yeah. laurels are a little old. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I, I just, uh, I don't think that Joe Biden's even stopped to think about his own constituency, which is probably a little bit older, and how much medical marijuana has benefited them. Thank you. A lot of older, in our vets, in our vets, in our vets yes, yes, a lot of older out. people, instead of get, going out and getting hooked on opioids and things like that, Amen. they found that they, if they do have chronic pain, back pain, uh, issues eating, holding food down, uh, this is, this is a, a way out for a lot of those people without having uh, to get addicted to something. So I think that he's just getting bad advice. And I think he's running a campaign from the early 90s instead yeah. of 2018. Yeah, and to be yeah. honest, I'm just looking at who can beat Trump right through that. And the best debater for me is who I cared about. And I thought Buttigieg and Klobuchar did a nice job. Booker also for me. Yeah. So let us know what you guys think. We How'd you think I did? You, do, you weren't there. Okay. Um, let us know. <laughs> Al Jackson 2020, though. Please, dear God, no.